Time to rank the Gen 5 Pokémon. Now, Gen 4 went really well. People seem to be very happy about that universally. Uh, so let's get into Gen 5. I actually like Black and White. Uh, but we'll see how the designs hold up after all this time. Uh, alright, first off we got a Victini. Victini is actually pretty cute. You know, the V shape and the, you know, peace sign sort of motif is actually... I, I like it. I'm gonna say A tier. Alright, here we got Snivy. Ooh, that's gonna be an S tier. Uh, look at this snobby little shit. With his upturned nose. Very fun. Surfing is not bad, actually. It... It's kind of weird. It just looks like a weird snake with legs or whatever, and, uh, it's... Yeah, it, it works in a weird way. I'm gonna say A tier. Superior, I'm actually not as fond of. And this is, you, you know, usually I like the evolution, the last evolution the best. This one kind of loses the charm, but I'll say B tier for Superior. Tepic, that's gonna be, uh, an S tier. Also a very cute little fella. Just, like, I love the little ball on its tail. Looks like it's having a good time. Pig Knight rules. Kind of looks like a wrestler, which I like. I'm going to say A tier because it rules. And then let's climb back up to S tier for Embor. I think this is a fantastic design. Uh, not just because of my fire type bias, for starters. It just looks cool. You know, oh man. You know, Gen 4 felt like a lot of designs were really busy. This doesn't feel... This feels detailed, but not busy to me. Uh, and I like that a lot. Oshawa, people are going to crucify me for this, but... Ah, B tier. I think it's the weakest of the three. It's cute, but... Uh, nah. Duat, I actually like better. Uh, the sort of samurai angle they're going for. I'm gonna make it an A tier here. Because it's gonna go back down with Samurai, where it goes on four legs and becomes this weird thing. C tier. It was, it was good, better with Duat. I kind of would have liked like a... I don't know. Like a, sam a bigger samurai or something like that. Patrat's ugly as hell. It's gonna be a D tier. What is with those eyes? I hate them. Watchog is a little funnier because he looks, he's like, he's like, C tier though. Lillipup is cute. We'll go with a B tier on Lillipup. I love his little fuzzy face. Looks like Sophie. I think Herdier is gonna be an A. Stoutland I thought I liked, but looking at it now, it, it's a little much. But B. There's just so much hair. Purloin's pretty cute. I'll say B tier. It's not bad. Lipard, I also like. I don't love it. I think the color scheme is really funny. Like a little, kind of looks like a Nickelodeon background or something. But I'll say B tier for Lipard. Oh, these monkeys. Oh, God. Um, these monkeys are fine. I'm going to say C tier for Pansage, just a green monkey. Simisage has the Pompadour, and that's going to elevate it to an A tier because Pompadour is rule. Pansier, I think it's, eh, it's still a C tier. I don't care about these fucking monkeys. And I don't care about this. In fact, this guy's ugly as hell. What's this fucking dopey ear weird motherfucker? Uh, D tier for Simisir. Panpour, C tier. Yeah, it's just a monkey. I don't mind the hair here. It's better than the fucking fire one. So I'll say eh, C tier. I'm not super big on it. Mana is funny. Just this weird, like, almost looks like a porcelain doll. This weird little vase uh, or piggy bank. We'll say B tier. B tier. Musharna is a little creepy. This weird pink shit coming out of its nose. Also a B tier. Pydov is perfectly average bird. C tier. Tranquil has a little more personality. So let's give him a B tier. Unpheasant. This would be a C, but because of the male variant, we'll do a B tier uh, for Unpheasant. Blitzel. Blitzel's not bad. I feel like this is what, like, Electrike and Luxio or Luxray or whatever have been trying to go for a design, but this is just a nice, simple... Yeah, get it? It's electric, but it's an animal. The Abstrika... Uh... Wow, I, I've never really looked at this one. Um, yeah, it's cool. B tier. It, it, it just looks like an angrier one. Rog and Rolla is one of these that... The more I learn about this, the more I kind of appreciate it. Did you know that hole is its ear? That's terrifying. You know, B tier. It's just a weird, creepy rock. Uh, Bulldor. I I, uh, I don't care as much about. Uh, we'll say C tier. Gigalith will be a step up, uh, just because it looks scarier. Uh, I like the spikes, so I'll say B tier. Ubat is super cute. Uh, that's gonna be. You know, that's an S tier. Like. I love it. It's a cute little nose, the little the one fang. A lot about this is really, really cute. Swoobat is also pretty cute. Um, it manages to keep the cuteness while still being distinct. I'm going to say A tier for Woobat, or Swoobat. 
Drillbur's just a fun little guy. A lot of these uh, Gen 5 sort of original evolution, not evolutions, original forms have that fun. It's just a little guy, B tier, he's cute. Excadrill's pretty rad. I like the scary drills. This guy's gonna fuck you up. We'll say A tier. Audino is cute. Yeah. You know, I like this design. It's very gentle. It's got a chancy energy. We'll say, uh, we'll say A tier. Yeah. Timber, um, the face is a little goofy. But I kind of like it. I'll say B tier. Gerd. <laughs> um, this is this is getting a little just this weird clown man. C tier. Conkledur. This guy looks like a like a juggalo. I forgot this is what Timber turns into. Poor guy. Uh, C tier. Timpole. That's cute. Uh, I do like the little weird eyebrows it has. You know, the sort of the music note sort of vibe. It's cute. We'll say B tier. Palpatotis. <laughs> it's, it's very stupid. Um, I'm going to say C tier. Oh, God. Seismitoad. I forgot what this one looks like. Oh, no. What? Are, it's got tumors all over it. D tier. Throw and sock are fun. They don't really do a lot on their own, but the, just the fact that the two of these weird Muppet martial arts masters exist. Throw will get a B tier, and sock will get a B tier. You know, you, you can't have one without the other. It's like Statler and Wildor. Suaddle. Soaddle. Um, I honestly forgot this one existed. It's cute, but I'm going to give it a C tier because I forgot. Swadloon is great, though. A lot of personality. It's like, don't touch me. We're gonna say... Man, you know, I've, I've been starved for a good one. Uh, I think S tier is too strong. Let's say A tier. A tier for Swadloon. And Lee Vanny is cute, but it's a step down for me. I'm gonna say B tier, but it's cute. Venipede, um... Uh, it's a cool looking bug, but for me it's just kind of like a bug. So I'm gonna say C tier. Whirlipede, I do like that it's kind of a weird wheel. It reminds me of, like, the Kirby wheel transformation. C tier. No. B tier. Scolipede will also keep at a B tier. Uh, again, I love this kind of creepy, giant, sort of centipede ass motherfucker. Cottony is cute, but a little simple. I'm gonna say C tier. It reminds me of what the, there was like another one that looked just like this. Not just like this, but gave me the exact same vibe. Like, yeah, Soaddle and those ones just remind me of this again. Whimsicott is very cute. That's an A tier, though. Look at this fluffy little friend. I love the sort of like ram horns it has. That's, or whatever that's supposed to be. That's a really nice touch. God, so many of these like, I'm a little green plant bitch. Um, Petalil C tier. Lilligant, it's cute. It does remind me of like too much of like Blossom and stuff, but it's got, you know, it's cute. So I'll say B tier. Basculin, who cares, man? D tier, I don't even, who gives a shit? Sandile. You know, I like the sunglasses look. I feel stronger about the evolutions, so I'm gonna say C tier for this one. Crocorock is pretty good. We'll still keep it at a C tier, but then Crocodile, that's an S tier. I'm gonna I'm gonna change it. Sandile's a B. Crocorock is a C tier. For some reason, it just jumps up for me. I think first off, I'm turning it red is a nice touch. Like, and then it just like, look at this guy. Look at this motherfucker. I think lengthening the snout. You know, making it look more like a badass. It really jumps up for me. Darumaka, just the original one, is cute. Uh, we'll say B tier, but then Darmanitan. Maybe my favorite Pokemon this gen, I think. S tier. Love the eyebrows. Love that it's based off of Daruma. You know, just the teeth, the eyes. It's so... It's such a good design. I love this design. Maractus. It's funny, but I honestly forgot it existed. We're going to say C tier. Dwebble um, is fine. In fact, I'm going to give it a D tier. Prussel, <laughs> I don't like that much better. We're going to keep that at a D tier. Scraggy's, Scraggy's a fun little guy. But back, again, back to the fun little guys. Uh, we'll give you a B tier. Scrafty, always reminds me of Aaron Paul or Jesse Pinkman. Uh, we'll give him an A tier. Yeah, bitch! Sigilyph. Man, this is just a cool idea. For a Pokemon, like basing it off the oh, what are they called? The Nazca lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just a great design. 
A tier. Very clever. Yamask is cute, but you know, for ghost type Pokemon, it kind of is a little lackluster. I'm gonna say C tier. You know, I love this gen. I'm giving a lot of Cs, which I don't usually do. At least I feel like I am. But I think it's just because I expect more out of this gen. With that said, Kafagrigus, whatever the fuck you say, how you say this, S tier. What a terrifying Pokemon. I, I mean, I'm surprised we, you know, haven't really had like a strong coffin themed Pokemon yet. And it's about time. Like, it's just a scary motherfucker. S tier. Tortuga. Uh, eh, eh, you know, it's a turtle. We've had turtles. C tier. But Caracosta, I'm actually. Part of it is I actually liked this Pokemon in the game. You know, and in terms of fossil Pokemon, this one actually sticks out to me. Also. Pretty memorable in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. So I'm going to say B tier for Karakasta. Archon's cute. A lot of personality in that goopy little face. So I'm going to say B tier. And Archeops, ooh, that's that's a downgrade. I forgot it turned into this weird uggo. Uh, it's still, the colors are good though. So I'm going to say C tier. Trubbish is cute. Again, let's say, let's say B tier for that one. And Garbodor, oh god. I have such mixed feelings about this because this is so ugly. It's so nasty. But I kind of love the audacity of it. B tier. Zoro is cute. Um, you know, I'm gonna make this an A tier. I think it's a very cute, simple fox design. I like that a lot. Zoro arc is a little less for me, actually. Uh, I'm gonna say B tier. I do like its red fingernails and toenails, though, and the little uh, uh, ponytail it has is, is fun. Minchino is cute. Uh, we'll say B tier for the base one, but Sinchino is just like the more glamorous version, but we'll say A tier for that. Gothita is fine. I'm not like crazy about this line. We'll say C tier for Gothita. Gotharita is better, so B tier, you know, a lot more of a sassy, you know, interesting design. Gothitelle, I think, gets goofy, especially the head shape, and you need four or five bows. I don't know. I think this falls back to a C for me. I'm not a big fan of Gothitelle. Ah, Celosis. You know, having a cell Pokemon is is cute. And, ooh, what is this diamond? Is it a mouth? That's the mouth? That goes up. A tier. What a creepy little thing. Duosion. I thought there was like a... It didn't, doesn't turn into two of them? No, wow, I, just, I totally forgot about this. Uh, this is a B just because it's a slightly worse Celosis. Reuniclus. I think I like the original one the best, but this is all right. B tier. Ducklet, we already got Psyduck. This looks like they're trying to do Psyduck again. Again, I know they're going for the ugly duckling here because for the next thing. But we'll say C tier. Swana is pretty good. B tier. I don't think we've had a Swan Pokemon yet. Uh, and this one has a lot of attitude, which I like. All right, a lot of these, it's like hard to even remember what the, each individual step looks like. But Vanillite, Ice Cream, yeah, you know, a lot of these object ones. But I appreciate that this one has like it looks more icy. This like you could you could maybe imagine this in the wild. B tier for vanillite. Vanillish just looks like a tastier one. Vanillish will still be a B. Vanillux since it's just two, and I honestly forgot which one was the double one. I'm gonna drop Vanillux to a C. It just feels like you really you couldn't do a little more than that. Deerling is cute. The fact that it has different forms is a good is a fun idea, and you know, kind of like cast form ish. Uh, we'll say B tier. Sawsbuck is also a B tier, and again, it's only because I love the idea of the different seasonal forms. Emolga. This just feels like Pachirisu again. I'm gonna say ah, but I like the wings. I'm gonna say B tier. Carablast. This one has grown on me a little bit. I'll say C tier, even like I would have rated it lower. Escavalier. Valier. Valier. Uh, this is a little much. I understand what they're going for. It's not really my thing. I think I'm going to say C tier. Oh, I said C tier for the other one. Shit. Fungus. Um, all right. You know, a play on the whole. Hey, it looks like a Pokeball from the top. I'll say B tier for Fungus. Amungus. Yeah, it's a little ugly. We're gonna say C tier. Frillish. This one's gonna get just like a C tier, because it's kind of whatever. But then, Jellicent rules. Like I love, I love the two different versions, especially the giant mustache for the uh, the male one. A tier. We'll say A tier. Alomomula. Alomomula. 
C mini tier juicy C tier. Jolt looks cute, but kinda eh. I like how that's fuzzy. You know what? Fuzziness, we'll give it a B. Galvantula, an electric bug Pokemon with a tarantula theme is actually pretty cool, so I'll say B tier. Pharaoh Seed, who the fuck cares? It's an egg with spikes, D tier. Pharaoh Thorn, oh god, it's a weird UFO with piranha plants and it's, this is, the, what the fuck is this, D tier. Here's another one of those where it's like, okay, god, clink, clank, clink, clang, what the fuck is the difference here? They're just gears. I mean, they're cute. I'm gonna say B tier for clink, but then clang is a C tier, because you lose one of the faces and it becomes... Oh, wait, is that a big face? That's kind of creepy. C tier. Cling Clang is also a C tier because they just add a little loop around it. Who cares? Like a hula hoop. Tynamo. Forgot this existed. Uh, we're going to give this a C tier. Electric has more personality. And I like this, I think, better than the next one. I'm going to say B tier. Oh, God. Electros is so ugly. This is a D tier. This drops down bad. LGM or LGM. It's a funny little guy. I like that it has a big old head. We'll say C tier. BHEM. Oh god, I forgot what this looked like. I'm changing that LGM gets a B, BHEM gets a C. This is <laughs> worse. Ludwig is going to be uh, an A tier. You know, very cute, simple, you know. People go, oh, you don't like object Pokemon. It's, I like it if it's done in a cute way. And this having the wax be like hair and having it be like a creepy little candle, it totally works for me as a ghost. Lampent is a step down. I still think it's good, but it's a B tier. Chandelure, though, I haven't given out on one in a while. Let's give it an S tier. It's, you know, creepy. You could see this in a haunted house. Uh, love the theming of it. It's great. Axew, looks like I have a hard time talking. Uh, I'm gonna give it a B. I like the attitude. Fracture is worse. What the fuck's your airplane mouth? C tier. Haxorus, though. All right, now we're talking. Let's give it an A. Tough ass looking Pokemon. Love the armor on it. The sort of side blades, even though it's kind of like, feels like it'd be dangerous for it to live, but. Cub Chew is fun. The snot bubble gives it a lot of uh, personality. So we'll say B tier. Bear tick. You know, it's just a big polar bear with a beard, but I kind of love that. That's how I feel about Ursa Ring. It's just a bear with a ring on it, but I'm gonna say A tier. Cryogonal reminds me of a worse Glalie. We're gonna say D tier. It just, this is another busy one that I don't think. Does anybody like this? I don't, I'm, I'm getting a thousand comments being like, It's the, actually the best of the, who cares? Shelmet, eh, C tier. Kissy face is fun, but I don't, I don't care about this one or Carablast very much. Excelgor, I will, so I stand corrected. I love the speed racer sort of attitude. B tier. Dunfisk, I want to step on its face. Uh, D tier. Me and Fu. You know, I like the attitude. B tier. Me and Xiao, on its own, A tier. Because uh, I like the graceful look of it. Uh, as a bias, this is the only Pokemon I've ever actually officially voiced. Let's give it an S tier. S for someone. Drudagon. This to me feels like a really unnecessary dragon. The red head with the blue body looks really stupid. Uh, we're gonna give this a C tier. Golet is fine. Let's say, let's give the Golet a B tier. It's often, I like the first one. The second one is just like a weird, oh no, never mind. I'm thinking of a different Pokemon. This rules actually. A tier. It's a fucking mech. It's a fucking metal ground or ground ghost mech. Ponyard gives me the same vibes as um, fucking Carablast and shit, but I like it a little bit better. I'll say B. By Sharp, you know, I never would have thought anything of this one, but I saw a cute comic on Twitter about By Sharp, or a cute illustration, so I'm gonna keep it at a B. Otherwise, it looks like a weird Mega Man boss. Bufalant, it's just, I think this is a stupid design, but I love the Afro. B tier. Ruffle is cute. Here's the one where the face of the Pokemon really captures like a wild, like, huh? And I'm just like, it's just like a curious little guy. B tier, and then Braviary. I like this bird design compared to like, I like this way better than like Unpheasant or fucking Star Raptor. Star Raptor can suck my nuts. Uh, Braviary, I'm gonna give a B tier as well. I think it's I think it's good. Volibee, this is an ugly little motherfucker. We're gonna give you a D. Mandibuzz, concept is better. I like this little bone in its hair or feathers. Uh, we'll say C tier, if I'm being totally honest. It's good, but eh. Heat and War. Oh, I forgot about this one. It's funny. It's a little busy, though. A lot of Pokemon in Gen 4, like Electivire and this one, are just look like 
weird, mutated, animalistic Mega Man bosses. Or I guess, you know, they look like Mega Man X bosses. C tier. Durant is just, who wants this ugly ant? D tier. Dano just, <laughs> this is like he's having a good time. We'll say B tier. Zwilus, you know, normally, I don't like the, hey, now it has two heads, but it's got two of the cute heads. So it's still cute, B tier. Hydreigon, I haven't given out one in a while. Let's say S tier, Hydreigon. The fact that those three heads kind of look like arm. no, they're not arms, they're heads, I believe. But they're really creepy looking. This is a Pokemon that I know my mom does not like because I did a video with her about it. Uh, so I'm gonna give it an S because that's funny. Larvesta, just a weird little spiky bug, D tier. Volcarona though, all right. Now you've grown up to be a pretty cool Pokemon. I actually like this one a lot. I'm gonna say A tier. Creepy looking in a cool way. And I like the sort of dynamic shape it has. Oh, these losers. Oh my god. Uh, Cobalion. It looks like it has an ascot. So I'm gonna say B tier. Terrak. I you know, I kinda. Maybe I like these better than I remember. I just never used these. This guy looks like the tough guy. We'll give him a B tier. This one is a little worse. What is your guy? What is your deal, Verizian? C tier. Or maybe, oh no, it's these ones that have no person. It's just like, they all look like the fucking same Pokemon. Tornadus. I like that it's green and purple. But that gives it like a C. Thunderous. These are all like the same. C tier. Reshiram. This is a step up from the ugly ass ones in Gen 4. It's It at least looks like, you know, it's still a lot. It's still busy and still looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. But it's got, you know, like... Feathers or whatever the fuck these are. It, it looks more like a real animal. So I'm gonna say B tier. I like Reshiram. Zekrom I don't like as much. This gets a C. I don't really like this design. Reshiram is the much better design. All right, here's this motherfucker. You know, just for making me not know where you were in the Pokedex, you get a D. Fuck you. Kurem. I don't get it. Like, this is a step back as well. I know you can combine it with the other legendaries. Who cares? C tier. It's boring as hell. Caldeo is okay. Yeah. Now we're back on track. Cute design. Kind of reminds me of, um, what the fuck is that little hedgehog bitch called? Uh, whatever. It turns into, like, a dog. I'll say B tier. Meloetta is very cute. In fact, S tier. I love this design. Like, going for a music theme, you know, with the hair, with the, you know, the, the notes and the... It's just a cute-ass Pokemon. S tier. And now here's the opposite of cute, Genesect. Again, this looks like a fucking toy from the 80s, which I kind of like, so I'll say B tier. We, it ends on Genesect? That's a downer. Well, that was Gen 5. Uh, overall, pretty strong Gen. I think maybe, maybe I was harsher than I was expecting. I find that I'm being a lot harsher as I'm doing all the Pokemon in a Gen, but there are some really good ones in here, so... Uh, I hope uh, I was m I mean about your favorite one, and I'm sure you'll let me know, and I'm sure I won't read it. Bye.